Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automated door. So let's look at the example first. Automated door with delay. The motion sensor detects when someone approaching the door. It should wait for 10 seconds and then open. If no one is detected for 5 seconds, the door should close. That means when the sensor gets activated, that means when the sensor uh, gets uh, some input, that means uh, when someone is detected, the sensor gets activated and with that, the door will wait for 10 seconds and then open. And after opening the door, it will once again detect and if there is no one at the door, it will close after 5 seconds. So for this example, we will use some normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also using some memory bits and timers like T on and T off. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, we need to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is the sensor which detects the presence of someone at the door. And then we have an output that is the lock of the door. So I wrote a door lock. So as it is an output, so its address will be like this Q0.0. So we have only one input and one output. Let's move to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing the ladder diagram for automated door with delay. So I will minimize this and then I will zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact that will represent the sensor and I will also insert a coil. So this normally open contact will be the sensor and this coil will be a memory bit, so let's say M0.0. .0. And then we'll use this M0.0 .0 here as normally close contact. So this is M0.0. .0. .0. So when sensor gets detected, M0.0 .0 .0 gets activated. And when it gets activated, the door lock should get off. So the door will be unlocked. So this is door lock. So initially, the current flows through this as this is a normally closed contact and here the door gets locked. So when sensor gets detected, when sensor gets activated, that means the sensor detects that there is someone at the door. So this M0.0 .0 gets through and when M0.0 .0 gets through, the current will not flow through it and the door will unlock. But this M0.0 .0 should turn on after some time. So we will use a timer operation T on and then this T on, the preset value for this will be 10 seconds. So as you can see here, when there is someone at the door, this M0.0 .0 does not get immediately turned on, but it will wait for 10 seconds. So when there is someone at the door, it will wait for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds, M0.0 .0 gets through and when M0.0 .0 gets through, the door gets unlocked. So when sensor gets uh, activated, the door will unlock after 10 seconds. And then here we will use one more timer that is T off as the door should get locked after 5 seconds. So when sensor gets deactivated, so here will be 5 seconds. So when sensor gets activated, M0.0 .0 gets through after 10 seconds and when it gets through after 10 seconds, when M0.0 .0 .0 gets through after 10 seconds, the door gets unlocked after 10 seconds. So sensor detects the door will wait and it will wait for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds the door gets unlocked. 
and then when sensor gets deactivated that means when there is no one at the door this m0.0 does not get immediately false but it will wait for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds it will get off so it will wait m0.0 will wait for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds the door gets locked so we will start the simulation here click on ok Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU, click on OK and then start monitoring. Let's uh, switch to the project view here where we need to create a new project. Create a new project and let's wait. Click on simulation tables, double click on simulation table 1 and then right click here and then click on load project tax. So when, when sensor gets activated, you can see the door gets unlocked immediately. The door does not get unlocked immediately but it will wait for 10 seconds. So now the door is unlocked. As you can see here, the current does not flow through this. When sensor got activated, it waited for 10 seconds and after waiting for 10 seconds, this M0.0 got true. And when it, when it got true, the current doesn't flow through this and the door lock doesn't lock the door. So it is currently unlocked. And then when there is no one at the door, the door doesn't get locked immediately but it will wait for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds this M0.0 gets false and the door gets locked again. You can see again when sensor gets activated the door doesn't got uh, unlocked immediately but it will wait for 10 seconds as you can see here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then M0.0 gets through and when it gets through the current will not pass through this and the door will be unlocked and then when there is no one at the door, the sensor gets deactivated and M0.0 gets off for after 5 seconds and after 5 seconds the door gets locked again. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.